Cassandra and Solar integration comes out of the box in uh, the distribution for Datastax Enterprise. Datastax Enterprise is the uh, commercial arm of Cassandra, just like uh, Hortonworks is for Hadoop and uh, Databricks is for Spark. Okay, so Datastax Enterprise is basically the commercial arm of Cassandra, which will give you a couple of integrations out of the box. Number one, search engine. Number two, Hadoop. Number three, um, Spark. All of them pretty much out of the box you are going to get. Okay. So you really don't have to worry about installing it from ground up. Okay. So it's pretty cool. The next is, and I'll, uh, we'll, we'll share all this with you. This is Databricks. We have been talking about this. Remember, I kind of, oh, that guy is not there today. He was there, but he left. Okay. Remember, we were saying that you split 50-50, right? You have Cassandra and Spark co-located. You got that in here, right? So that kind of things. And Databricks is the company, uh, something that we have been already talking about. Stratio, again, something that we have been talking about. And Stratio is essentially another option that you have. And uh, you can clearly see it essentially says that you can see this right here. Cassandra Lucene Index. So that's yet another option for you to do your analysis using a search engine. Right now, I have not used Stratio, but by the sounds of it, I like it. And I intend to uh, implement this at some point in time. Okay. So it's not just solar and elastic search. You can use uh, Stratio as well. Warehousing, you can go out there and uh, take a look at this, uh, this one uh, URL, which basically shows Hive, Hadoop, and how we picked our analytics stack. It's a nice read. So you can use Hive, etc., uh, along with Cassandra. So you can create something called as an external table. And you can read, start reading data from Cassandra, right? So you can do those kind of, um, you know, analytics as well. Um, ETL and uh, Cassandra, <laughs> it does exist, but I'm not too sure about this. So Jasper and Pentaho, right? Both are obviously open source. And I know I've worked with Spoon in the past. So what you can do is if you use the connector, right, of Cassandra, then it can start reading from SS tables. What is this SS tables? You see this file one, file two, and file three, right? These are the files, Cassandra files. They're also called as SS tables. They're actually called as SS tables. I just did not use that term here. That's all. Got that. So you can directly start reading from there if you want to do some sort of an ETL job. However, have you heard of an architecture style called Lambda? Not AWS Lambda. That is serverless architecture, right? Let me also show you another one. This is the Netflix case study. Look at this from Oracle to global Cassandra. So they used to use Oracle and then they eventually moved on to Cassandra. A friend of mine has personally gone through this. A very, very close friend of mine has gone through this in eBay, right? eBay was using um, Oracle, but then over a period of time, they moved over to Cassandra. So people are moving over to masterless architecture. Make no mistake. I'm very sorry. You're losing your sheen. So what Lambda architecture essentially says is it tries to put together two forms of analysis. One, you can do your bad jobs. You can do your bad jobs, etc. on one end, and you can do your streaming and you can do your real time analytics at the other end. So you can think of it like this. There's a stream of data coming through. You could use your, um, uh, what do you call it? Real time analytics on the stream of data to get the value, which in a sliding window basis, what happened in the last hour, what happened in the last half a day or a day, depending on the velocity of data that you have. And anything older than this window, you will be running bad jobs, right? Which could be map reduce. I, you can use Spark, Hadoop, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Makes sense. So that way what happens is you get real time analytics where the business person knows exactly in the near real time what's happening. And anything older, you can go to the traditional uh, bad job model. Does that make sense? This architectural style in analytics is called as a Lambda architecture. You can do the search, right? You can just do analytics Lambda architecture, right? And you will come out with enough literature so that you can read and create. So it's basically Spark in con Spark or Hadoop in conjunction with some of the other uh, technologies such as MongoDB, Cassandra, or even database for that matter. Right. Let's make not mistake. If you do your sharding really well, databases can scale too. Right. Sharding essentially means that I split my entire 
uh, you know, orders from geography perspective, right? So I say all the orders coming in from Bangalore will go here or something will go here or something like that. I split up my databases into individual databases and manage them individually. That's uh, some form of sharding. So you could do that. 